to my channel, hope you've all had a wonderful, wonderful day. Today's video I've been so excited for and I have left it to the last minute to film. You are seeing this just hours before it is going to go live. Um, so, we are here to celebrate the lovely Charmed Wench's birthday. Now she reached out to quite a few of us to ask if we would be willing to take part in a 80s birthday celebration multi-channel collab and the minute she asked me to take part I knew I was in there I was like yes I have to be a part of it I'm super super excited I really wasn't sure what look I was going to create I had no idea at all and until I was sort of chatting with Marie about it and saying I'm really stuck I know 80s is full glam lots of color the hair you know it's all big and wonderful and I just thought, me and bright colours are just terrified of each other. Um, so yes, Marie made a bit of a comment, which I do speak about later on in the video. Um, and it inspired me to create this look. Can you guess who I am before I tell you? Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? I am Adam Ant from Stand and Deliver, the music video. So when we were talking about it, I knew that this was going to be born. Adamant and me in the makeup room were gonna have a thing. Um, and this is the look I have created. I went for Adamant in Stand and Deliver because it is an easy basic look. Um, we've got the white stripe, we've got the weird black contour lines, we've got the shot mark or X marks the spot for the highwayman, um, and we've got like a muted kind of glam but not too glam eye look. Um, and yeah, I was so excited to be asked to take part in this. There are loads of other lovely ladies that are also taking part as well. So head over to Charmed Wench's channel, give her some birthday love, and then definitely check out everyone else that is involved in the description down below. There will be a link to all their channels. Go and give them some love too. And yeah, if you wanna see how I created this Adam Ann inspired look, then you should definitely keep on watching. Adam Ann was someone that I absolutely loved listening to, still love listening to. Um, his music is just iconic in so many ways. Um, and I knew he was gonna be a choice that I had to pick. It wasn't a choice, he was here. I was picking him. Um, my dad and me used to listen to Sand Deliver on repeat in the living room. We'd be up jumping on the settees, doing all the dance moves. And yeah, Adamant is here, I love it. I'm so in love with this look. I know it's so simple, but I had so much fun. So yeah, keep on watching, see how I created it, and go and head out and give love to everyone else involved. See you in a bit. Okay, so I have a pretty minimal amount of makeup that we're gonna use for this look. It is pretty basic, but Adamant is by far one of the coolest. So I'm just going to do my base makeup like I normally would um, and then we'll get into some of the funky bits that he kind of does. So I'm going to be using my Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer Moisturiser as my base and then I'm going to go in with my number 7 Tinted Moisturiser which is kind of my foundation at the moment and a little bit of concealer just to help out these eye bags. So we're going to start with that and then yeah, we'll get into some of the weird little bits and bobs that he puts on. of Adam that I can find he tends to have quite a sort of dark eyeliner band with a bit of a smoky eye now I am absolutely pants at smoky eyes so we are just going to be using this really basic neutrals kind of palette to create a bit of a darker cornered look and then I'll go in with my eyeliner and try and sort of 
make it a bit more Adam Anty. But yes, I am using the I Heart Makeup Naked Chocolate Palette. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna give it a go. I'm not great with a wing, um, so yeah, I had to do it off camera because I'm really bad at it. Um, but I'm just going to use the Clinique mascara to kind of open my eyes a little bit, and then we're going to get into the big white stripe that he's got going on across his face. The mascara face is back everyone. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna put loads of mascara on, I just want enough on to kind of open my eyes um, because it's a very 80s look and I'm pretty sure mascara is quite muted. Um, I really did debate going big, bold and colourful. Um, and then I spoke to Marie a little bit about it and was like, I have absolutely no idea what to do. And she made a comment that gave me the inspiration for this look. Um, so yes, I am gonna locate the objects to do our white stripe and I will be back. Okay, so I don't have a white paint or anything white that I could use, but I do have this really light um, L'Oreal Paris concealer. I bought it ages ago before in one of the lockdowns and I was too lazy to take it back. So we are gonna completely wing this white stripe. I have practiced it a few times. Um, but it's, it's never 100% straight, so we are going to wing it and see what happens. Um, but yeah, here we go. Okay, I've done the famous white stripe. I also did his weird black line contour off camera purely because I tried on camera like five times and it was not going to plan. So I figured I needed to be face on at a mirror and really concentrate on doing it. But this is the white stripe. He also has a red cross up here, which I figure can't be too hard. So we are gonna do that on camera. I'm using the Kat Von D Double Dare lipstick to do this and just a pointed brush. Um, and I am just gonna wipe it on the lipstick and hopefully draw across. This is the most red I have. I decluttered my last like red shade. Um, so Kat Von D, <laughs> better not let me down. It's so hard to do this while I'm looking at the viewfinder on the camera. Um, let me turn slightly so I'm looking at the mirror but you can still see what's happening. It's quite a large cross. I don't know if it's meant to like represent being a highwayman so it's like a scar or what it is but it is quite quite large so yeah there you go and then he wears like a glossy lip um, and I don't have a glossy lip um, so I've gone for my lightest lipstick shade which is the MAC Viva Glam 2 and we're just gonna 
put that on and hope it's glossy enough. Right, there you go, let's sort the hair out and I'll be back. And we're back, Adam and the Ants, eat your heart out. So yes, this is my Adam Ant stand and deliver look. It is pretty basic, I'll give you that. But Adam and the Ants were just a classic band for me. I grew up listening to them with my dad and when Marie made the comment that gave me the inspiration for this, I just knew who I was going to pick. So yes, this is my Adamant Stand and Deliver look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please check out all the other ladies that are taking part. There will be a master list in the link description box down below. Please head over there and give them some love. And definitely head over to Charmed Wench Marie's channel and give her some birthday love. Take care and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!